another completely gorgeous day here in Idaho. I'm hanging out with my goats and uh, getting some things cleaned up. If there's anything that makes you feel unprepared, it's an early winter. It's an early frost, early freeze. Um, we don't yet have a working wooden stove. We would really like to remedy that, so we're hoping soon, but I know a lot of my neighbors that do, their main source of heat is wood burning stove. Their um, concern has been, gosh, we don't have heat, but um, ours has been, the yard's not ready. The goats aren't ready. We don't have our winter supply of hay or straw. We just aren't ready. So um, we're out today enjoying this beautiful sunshine, getting some things cleaned up, um, getting some things organized. So we're really excited to take advantage of this beautiful weather. What's temperature today, Emma? Do you know? Um, no idea. Gonna hurry and look it up on my phone, but when you're trying to hurry to do something, it's never in a hurry. We are at 58 degrees right now and I'm actually kind of sweating. I could not be more happy with these goats. They're giving me great milk. They're enjoying their shelter that we built. So that's really awesome. We plan to kind of enclose more of this along the back and sides just to help as a windbreak and when I go in there to milk. I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna bring the goats into the garage and milk or if I'll continue to be out here. So I just took them over to the sides here. You can see my ropes. I just took pumpkin over here, an apple over here, and it works really great. I'm not really missing a milking stanchion. I know I've had a lot of people say that we need to build one and we, we might, but I don't mind. Um, it's actually been really good for me to stretch. I um, had knee replacements a couple years ago, so I'm kind of stiff. So it's been really good to stretch and to um, kind of get down. I have a cute little stool that I, that I use and it's really not been bad, so. They are just sweet goats. I'm really happy. The cows are doing really great in their new home and Maynard the goose is doing great with his new girlfriends. So, so far so good. So Emma and I are going to get this straightened up right here. The plan is to bring in the straw. We've had it kind of right here in front of the propane tank. Um, kind of makes a mess. I don't like how untidy it feels. So we're going to go ahead and put it kind of over here by the structure. So we're gonna get that cleaned up and get pallets down so we can get ready for our next delivery of straw and hay. So these, so these royal palm turkeys, these heritage breed turkeys that we've done this year, we've been extremely happy with. And they are smarter than last two years turkeys, but this one's proving me a little bit wrong. It's um, separated from its flock apparently. The other three are somewhere over that way. And it's been having a conniption fit for what, about 20 minutes, Emma? A long time. Maybe more. So that, that, what's funny, is these birds can fly. We've witnessed it, they can fly. So the fact that it's just gonna stand here and walk around like an idiot, I feel a little bad for it though. Maybe I'll try and save it. She already tried. Emma said she already tried. Freedom at last. Sorry, I didn't get that on film. You do what you can. But Turkey has been reunited with its flock. Okay. 
So this bread saga has been interesting. I did a video on it um, in our early channel days, and um, I show my um, recipe for sprouted wheat bread. Um, I have since changed the. Just a minute. I have since changed the recipe just slightly. I kept having some problems with. Um, it falling apart and this and that. So I have changed the recipe. So I am going to do another video, an update on that. And we're better at videos than we were then. <laughs> so I am going to be doing an update video on that soon, like I said. Okay, no more dough. Can I need one of them? Um, I'm just shaping them right now, but go ahead. Okay, well, hang on. I like to get it. Measure to make sure I have the same. Thanks for coming along today with us on this crazy adventure that we like to call homesteading. Okay, get off the bar. Off the bar. <laughs> Thanks for commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. And um, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Yeah, make sure you give us that thumbs up. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bubbles, that's the right word. Well, I'm used to.